What's going on, everybody? Matt the Metal. I'm Mark. Blood Incantation. Saw him last night with Gore Guts, Mayhem, and Cannibal. But <laughs> moving on to the top of the discussion today. Um, easiest math class I've taken. Um, last time I did the hardest math class for me. Um, now I'm moving on to the easiest. And <laughs> just thinking about this class would make me laugh. Okay, so this class was the actually the last math class I was required of me to take. It was a lower division, so okay, you know, beat that what you will. Okay, so this is after I took, you know, topology, analysis one and two, blah, 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 blah. This class was titled Euclidean Geometry and Transformations. Okay, I was actually enrolled in this class for a day um, when I first started the uh, university that I graduated from. Um and there was like working with GeoGebra and like drawing shapes and things like that. Um, kind of realized my workload at that in that semester, so I dropped it that day. So there wasn't no like penalty because it was a, literally the first day of school. Um, so I kind of pushed it off, pushed it off, it off to the very end. And it was the very last math class I took during. I took it during the summer. Yeah, I kid you not. This class was an arts and crafts class. It was literally arts and crafts. There was no math to be seen at all. Okay. Um, okay. So let me give you let me give you some examples. Okay. So um, well, first, I guess it's a plus. I guess um, there was really there was a textbook, but it was free. You went on some website and you downloaded it, and but again, in the book there was no math to be found. Because, again, it was literally arts and crafts. So one, I remember one thing we were looking at, uh, what's it called, topographic maps, you know, like all the different layers and contours and things like that. And our homework was to go find a topographic map of something, okay, and then using um, cardboard or whatever you may found, whatever you can find, make a model of the topographic map, you know, kind of like a 3D model of it. So I kid you not, I literally did this. I finished 20 minutes before the class started. I literally got some star foam, you know, and I just cut out big piece. And I kid you not, I, I barely, I did like four like styrofoam pieces, like through like some, <laughs> like a shoelace I used. And I literally just did this. I took, I showed a picture like this, like, cause it was on Zoom. So I just did this with my hand. And I got, I got a hundred, I got, I got a hundred percent for that project. It looked nothing. Cause I did, I, I found a topographic map of a mountain. I use a mountain like right here. It looked nothing like it. I didn't even color it or anything. People spent I was I heard complaints about people spending hours and hours and hours and hours on it. Granted, their models looked great; they looked amazing. But to be reduced to twenty minutes before class, cutting some styrofoam out and gluing it together to make it look like nothing, doing this, and getting one hundred percent on it. This class was a joke. A joke. Again, no math, zero math. And not only because um, the professor that was running the class, I'm sure, you, you know, you've had these types pretty much day one. They're just saying, you know what? I'm not going to I'm I'm they said literally verbatim. I'm not going to teach you. I'm not going to teach. You have to learn everything by yourself. The reason why we're meeting today is you can ask questions and maybe I'll answer. Maybe. But zero teaching there was no lecture there was no lessons at all it was read pages 15 to 20 whatever it is and do whatever do whatever it says i'm just here to i don't know be i'm just i'm just here <laughs> but um again this book was like from i don't even know i don't even know what institute it was it, it had nothing to do with anything like nothing Euclid Euclidean ge geometric, nothing. There was no looking at the elements. There was no not nothing about geometry, nothing. 
Um, but she will literally call you out if she thought you were cheating on something. I remember like it was like, what was it the last like it was either it wasn't the very end of the class. Again, this is like a summer class, it was like six weeks. But um she called on you to give your answer about whatever exercise that she uh, the book assigned because you had to do every exercise that was there. And if it was like slightly off from being like perfect, perfect, she would literally call you out for cheating. And I just, it was one of the most awkward uh, <laughs> Zoom meetings I've ever had where students were literally, I'm going to, I'm going to contact the dean. I'm going to do this and that. You're, you can't accuse me of cheating. And no, and da, 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 da. like, and yeah. And this professor, this one that, again, arts and crafts. I remember doing that topographic map I did. I remember drawing like, perspective you know like two point three point perspective doing that um and stuff like that that was literally my class um this same professor teaches topology i didn't have her for topology i had another professor thank god but um yeah she teaches topology and i was actually her grader for the topology class and <laughs> um believe it or not i just remember like just she just like was super hard like she wanted me to like take grade them tough but she didn't teach she didn't it was literally she made videos video lectures she had like a whole youtube playlist or whatever it's unlisted so don't bother looking for it. it's unlisted um you watch that and come to class and prepare to to do the proofs on the on the board that was literally her class. Even her, she runs every class like this. It was a joke because I literally learned nothing, nothing about Euclidean geometry, zero. I learned how, I guess I learned how to make styrofoam topographic maps in five minutes. I learned how to draw a house in three point perspective. Um, did I tell you anything about Euclid's elements? No. Did I tell you that this class was hella easy? yeah and it was a freaking joke so that's the easiest math class i ever taken and luckily it was my last for my undergraduate looking forward to applying this should come around for um masters and phd programs of course as i did last time when those applications start coming out i'll show you which ones i'm interested in and yeah i'll see you guys next time